Today, Africa is a continent of new nations, a place where many different people work peacefully together. But in some parts of Africa, the only law is still the law of the jungle. Here, the strong survive. must flee the beast with a brain, a jeep, and a gun. <laughs> the strong survive. Nobody captures the white lion. He's too smart to get caught. Caesar, that Cassius hunts again. Why, that vicious panther. Yes, but you can't blame him. He's hungry. 
Most animals will hunt when they're hungry. Listen. Yes, vultures coming to stuff themselves with the leftovers. You can't change them, Caesar. They're all doing the only thing they know. Someday they'll learn. Caesar, come back! Listen! Daniel Baboon, were you calling my husband? Yes, but it's no use. He's gone again, real gone. It's no use, Snowine. He doesn't listen. I know. At times, it's hard to grasp his ideas. But, Daniel, please, patience. Well, I may be an old baboon, but I fail to see why the king of the jungle wants to see all the animals free, even people's pigs and cows. <laughs> You told me you were a famous hunter, Viper Snakely, the world's bravest lion hunter. A big fake. I mean nothing personal, but what am I to tell the natives? That white lion has been stealing their pigs and cows. You mean he's No, been... he doesn't hurt them. I mean he's been stealing them and setting them free in the jungle, but that makes no difference. The natives are still losing their pigs and cows. That's why they asked me, the game warden, to get rid of the white lion. You told me you were a famous hunter, Viper Snakely, a big fake, nothing personal. But what am I supposed Ugh, There he goes again. This will be the fifth time I've heard it. Mmm. These are good. Viper, why was the game warden so mad at you? He's mad because we didn't catch a white lion. And the natives' cows and pigs keep disappearing. You mean the white lion eats them? No, he doesn't eat them. He steals them and sets them free in the jungle. Listen. Hmm? 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 Mm hmm That's him. Here. Not that way. I've got a better way. <laughs> Quiet now. The white lion is here. Now is your chance to get him. What are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? I'm making a tape recording, as you see. And there's a method to my madness. That white lion must have a mate, doesn't he? He does, but so what? Stick around, my friend, and you shall see. I shall get her, and he shall follow when she calls. <laughs> Shortly, my friend, you shall have a white lion rug, and I'll be on my way home with a lioness. <laughs> that was Caesar. He may be in trouble and need my help. Hmm? Caesar? Caesar? <laughs> Caesar! Stay away! Stay away! Caesar! No! Stay away! Snowine, perhaps when you have our child, it will be a boy and you can call it Kimba. Kimba, son of Caesar.
All right, ring down the curtain. That's it. She's gonna have a baby. Maybe lots of babies. <laughs> the baby is a boy. He's Snow White. Just beautiful. <laughs> I shouldn't have bothered to stop at that port. I thought they'd pay me good money. But now I'm just as glad. I'll wait till I get home and get twice as much for the mother and the baby. Quiet! I don't believe a word of it. Be that as it may, <clears throat> my scientific know-how predicts that we shall have a terrible storm. And what's more, I foresee danger. Whatever shall we do? We have Caesar's son aboard. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, Snowine, terrible news. What's this, Socko? Well, it's called a music box. Did it come from my father? Well, mm, ask your mother. I'll tell you, my dear. Yes, mother? Now that you're two months old, you're no longer a baby, but old enough to understand. Mm -hmm. And so I'd like to tell you all about your wonderful father. He was called Caesar, and he was a very brave lion. Because he was very just, most animals looked upon him as their king. You are your father's son, my child. Like him, you must be strong and brave, understand? Yes. Oh. <coughs> The first thing that you must do, Kimba, is leave the ship and find your way back to the jungle. Yes, Mama. Well, let's go. Not me. I can't get out of this cage. You must go alone. No, no. I, I can't go without my mother. It's just not possible. You must be brave, my son, and don't cry. Don't try to shush me. It's cruel, I tell you. Cruel. She's got to do it, Sacco, because this ship may sink. Sink? Uh, you quiet. Mr. Stork said we're headed for a storm. Then why don't we leave the ship, uh, too? Listen. It's the gas. The gas are coming. Those poor rats. I'd better save them from those awful cats. That would be a very brave thing to do, my boy. But you must be braver still and leave the ship right now. Many animals will help you to find the way. Go along now. Goodbye, Kimba. Goodbye, Mother. Bye.
mother. Oh, mother. <laughs> You're blocking traffic, Slowpoke. Move along. I can't swim fast. Nonsense. Everybody can. You just need a lesson. Hi. Mr. Tuna will teach you how to swim much faster. Uh-huh. Use your tail fan. Don't have one. What's this? Ow! Let me help. Ow. Ow. Let me help. Ah. Now, do what I tell you, boy. Twist your body and hold your breath. It's all in the body and the breath. Now, hold your breath. Hold it. Ah. Very funny. Listen, boy, just flap your wings. Watch me. See? Then just practice. Practice. <laughs> practice. Uh, 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 just kick the water, see? Like this. Oh. Uh, 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 really, you're one of the most difficult students we've ever taught. You'll never make a good fish. Now, just sit tight, dearie, and we'll push you. All right. See what I mean, boy? It's the only way to travel. Oh! A saw shark! Unless I miss my guess, you must be Caesar's little boy, Kimba. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be surprised to find you make it. You mentioned my father. Did you know him? I know practically every animal in the jungle. As a matter of fact, I was there the day your father made his great decision. It happened like this. Caesar, wait! Please consider the danger. I have considered. No, there you go again, being stubborn. If you're captured, what do we do? Daniel, I know I might lose my life, that's true. But can't you understand that I must try to save my loved one? Poor Snowheen. I could never hold up my head if I didn't try. You animals know that I have always stood for peace among all creatures, but not if it means slavery. On he ran, Kimber, never once considering the danger to himself. Little white lion, you have a job to do. Good luck. Don't you worry. Someone watches whatever you may do. Mother!
thank you. Oh, thank you. I made it! I made it! Yes, Kimba, you have come home. This is your kingdom. One day, like your father, you too will become a great white lion. Just won't turn in round. 